This is the Awkward GM Corbin, and today I'm going to show you how to make some cheat sheets to speed up character creation for your players. So let's see if we can help uh, Theo here make a new character. I'll make the spreadsheet available in a link below. Um, you'll be able to view it, but you won't be able to edit it. If you want to edit it, you'll have to click uh, File, Make a Copy. This is the Codex of Darkness wiki site. It has a list of all of the Chronicles of Darkness abilities, as well as their requirements. Now it doesn't have the rules for everything, but it does give you a little description of what each ability does do. And also you can see that it has a Discord group for finding players. Here we're going to go to Werewolf the Forsaken, and we want the gifts. So what I'll do here is I will select the Moon Gifts table. I will scroll down while dragging to grab all of them, including the last line here. And I'll hit Control-C. Now I'll go into my uh, Google Drive um, Excel spreadsheet and hit Control-V. And it will now have copied the entire um, table. Now, if I have a player who is playing a Rahu, which uses the full moon gifts, I will probably just delete the other columns or hide them. So I'd go delete the rows and then scroll down here down to the bottom of moon gifts, delete the rows. And now all the player has to worry about are the full moon gifts. Some of the gifts, such as shadow gifts, have a requirement of a specific renown in order for you to be able to purchase them. Now, what I do here is I do the same thing I did as before. I copy the entire row all the way down to the bottom here, right before wolf gifts. So control C, go to Excel, control V. Now I want to filter these gifts based on the renown that they use. So what I'll do here is I'll go up to here and this is where the Renown header is located. I will select all the rows all the way down to the bottom here. And then I will go and I will select uh, Create a Filter. And what this does, if you go all the way to the top back up here, uh, you will see that the rows here now have uh, drop downs and this is how you can filter out different renown. So to filter out the renown that I don't need, I'll go here and I will scroll down to the bottom and I can see that there are blanks, which I need because those are part of the headers for the types of gifts. And then there is cunning. Let's say this, um, this werewolf doesn't have cunning, it doesn't have glory, it has honor and purity. Remove wisdom. And now, all the gifts that are listed in this table are only the honor and purity gifts. So we're all set here. I can give this to my Rahu player who has a dot of purity at least and a dot of honor and they can now use this to make their character. They can also use this to find gifts that they might want to purchase in the future. So for instance if this Rahu wants to buy the gift of death they can look here and they can see that there is a gift called Memento Mori, which gives them awareness of packmates' injuries. Maybe that's something they want, so they'll flag it. Like, I like to highlight stuff that I want, so I'll do a little highlighting here. Say I want that one. Let's say they already purchased something from, say, the Gift of Dominance, so Snarl of the Prey. You could just go here and highlight it green and say, okay, I already have this ability, so I don't need it. This uh, does not work for every splat type. For instance, demons, their uh, demonic form abilities don't have any prerequisites, so you can just buy them however you want. So maybe your players just need a list of abilities. I apologize for the formatting. I did this so that uh, you guys had a better view of what I was actually doing. Um, if I were to give this to an actual player, I would probably uh, select some of these rows and make them uh, word wrap which gives it a bit more information about what stuff does here. Uh, let's do this for Changely now. Uh, same thing. Go here to Codex of Darkness. Scroll up. Changely in the Lost. Contracts. And now we select all of the contracts. 
So for changing the loss, I'm going to have to do something a little bit different here. Um, I'm still going to do Control-V to paste everything here, but I'm getting an error message here. And that's because it thinks that if something starts with plus two, it's a formula. So it automatically put in a equal sign here when it really shouldn't have. I'm going to try and figure out how to fix this and I'll let you know what I find. A few moments later. So here's what you're going to need to do in order to fix this issue. You're going to do a control F, which will do the find and spreadsheet. Uh, you're going to hit these marks here to bring up the more advanced section where you say find equal sign and replace it with an apostrophe. What this will do is it will make the formulas turn into regular text. Uh, make sure that you select also search within formulas and then hit replace all. It's going to say it's going to replace all the values on this sheet. Are you sure? You hit OK. And it says it had five instances of equal sign. Now I'm going to have a problem here, which is a lot of these rows are merged. So I'll have to unmerge a bunch of them, which is going to be a pain in my ass. One eternity later. Now let's see if this works. Uh, we will select the loopholes column, which has which uh, seemings have bonuses for that ability. And what we're going to do is we're going to click the filter. And instead of select removing all of these like texts for what type of loophole you'll have, you just want we just want beast. So we're going to get rid of the wizened, fairest, ogre, darkling. Oh, and elemental. Now, if you look here, we have filtered out any ability that has a beast uh, bonus ability. Um, so if I scroll down here, I see there's one for Contract of the Crown. I've got one for Royal Contract of the Crown. I've got none for Jewels, but one for Royal Contracts of Jewels. And I've got a bunch for Contracts of the Mirror. This is really good. It helps your players figure out where they'll get the biggest bang for their buck and help to optimize their character just that little bit more. This will probably be something for a future video, but optimizing a character isn't necessarily a power gamer move. It just means that you're trying to make a character that works well with the abilities that they have. For instance, you want to have a, an ability to fire a gun very well, you should probably have uh, points in firearms in order to fire it. I hope you guys have found the video informative, and I also hope that Theo now knows what abilities his character can use. If you'd like to send me some tip money, there's a link down below to Kofi where you can do that through PayPal. If you're interested in other stuff Chronicles of Darkness related, such as game mechanics, you can check this playlist out here. I'm just going to wave in this general direction and hope I'm waving at something. Thank you so much for watching and have a good one.